Section four test solutions. So let's see if you came up with the same exact answers that I came up with. So for the first condition, put okay if the product class is H. So if, and we test G, column G, which is the product class. So if this is H, then do okay. If not, put in a dash. So as you can see, for everything that is H, we have okay. For everything else like L here and here, we have a dash. So this one was pretty simple, a simple if statement. For the second condition, now we have a nested if. Let me just adjust this so that you see it perfectly. So for people with zero children, we're just going to put an A. So in this case, we ditch the zero completely. For people that have one or two children, so if we ditched zero completely, then we're left with one or two. So I put lower or equal to two. Now you could have put an or and say if this is one or two, then um, you would have gone through with the if formula. Uh, that's not wrong, but it's just a longer way to do it because in this particular scenario, uh, lower or equal to two means only one or two. So this is the faster way to do it. So if that is true, then we have to test if they're from Pacific. So if H3 is Pacific, then we put okay. If they're not from Pacific, then we put a dash. Now this is the true branch of this if statement. If they actually have more than three children, and here I put larger or equal to three, then we have the last condition, which is right here. If they're male, so if C6 is M, then return OK. If not, return A+. Plus. And then we close all the if statements. I didn't put space bars here, but you can see all of them are closed. And that's how we reach this conclusion. Finally, for the third exercise in cell L3, calculate the average number of children for all people who did bachelors. Very easy. We select the range. So the range will be this. We test it for bachelors and then we average the number of children. And that's what we get. So hopefully you reach the same conclusion and if statements, nested if statements and all these different operators that you can use are extremely clear for you now. And now we're starting to go deeper into um, text strings and then actually advanced Excel formulas that will take your spreadsheets to the next.